What's going on, everyone? Uh, I usually say what's going on, what's up, Wolf Fups, but like, it's just gonna be a chill night tonight. We're going to just just be enjoying the nice firelight. Also, be talking about life. And joining with me tonight is Legends in the Shadows, my best friend, Mikey. Um, hey guys, I'm gonna be putting some nice tunes on. No, try to get us for copyright because we already got that covered. Um, we don't need copyrights for these songs because it's more just tunes. Um, we're just gonna be sitting here talking about life in general, chilling, having a nice night. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so as I said, as we talk about life, when, okay, so let's take an example for this fire. You can, you can see it as nice crackling fire that helps calm people down. I like to look at it as kind of the yin and yang. It reminds you of the good times that happen, and it also reminds you of the bad times that happen. Um, sometimes for me, it reminds me about how bad I, I've been treated in relationships, but it also reminds me of the good people in my life that helped me overcome the, the bad times in my life. Uh, that's why I really, really like just watching the fire crackle. And another thing is, y'all like camping. Uh, some of the greatest memories you can have from camping is just sitting around the campfire enjoying life, you know, just just fucking around. Maybe if you're a pyro, just sitting there staring at it, just enjoying the scenery. Just looking up at the sky while you have that beautiful light next to you, the warmth, the amazing just shine in the smolder of the wood. It makes you really think about how, how all of this was created. Maybe there's some of you that don't believe in God and it's just, well, this happened. Well, I'm not really a true believer of God. I don't really have a reason to believe, but it just makes you think, how did all of this come to be? How did all of this become so beautiful? If you uh, look at it through the science point of view, it all started with the Big Bang, and which it all did. And it, uh, fire could have been one of the chemical reactions started in, um, in an early lab. Because uh, I believe it was in 1845, uh, a scientist he uh, he loved being out in the winter time so much he decided to wait almost two hours outside in the snow just to catch some snowflakes and analyze their shapes and that's where the saying comes from not ever two sno not every snowflake is alike. And that's the same for all of us as people. Not everyone is, a, is alike. We may all have our similarities and our unique features, but that's what makes us our own individual snowflake. That's what all makes us all beautiful. It, it, we all have our little quirks and our little splendors, how we see life. We have our different views, but in the end, we're pretty much the same. Like when it comes down to instinct and um, under the skin, how our organs are put together, we're all the same people. It's just the way we act that makes us different. And, and everyone, remember that word, beautiful. B-A-U-I-T-F-U-L, beautiful. You know what spelling bee is now, my dude? Okay, no. Just everyone, remember that word, beautiful. No matter what happens to you, no matter what's going on in life, just remember, you're beautiful and you're loved. Doesn't matter how much you think people hate you, there's always going to be one person that absolutely loves you. Doesn't matter if it's your mom, your dad, and if you don't have those people, there's someone out there that cares. It doesn't matter how much you think they don't, 
there's always somebody that does. And that person in my, in my life is both my mom, my dad, and the, and this guy sitting right next to me. You've seen him through uh, other videos, but he's he's my best friend for life. I'm not going to lose him anytime soon. People come and people go, but there's once in a lifetime experiences where you actually find somebody that sticks around. You want to keep those people close. Don't ever push them, push them away because you're never going to find somebody else like that. Even if it may seem like they're, uh, they're agonizing you or egging you on, just remember they're there for you and they're not leaving you anytime soon. They're just there to piss you off no matter how much you like it. It's just funny to them. It's not like you don't like doing the same thing. We all know we love antagonizing each other as people because, you know, it's entertainment. That's all you really have to do when you're bored, just piss people off, man. But for best friends, that's the, our, that's the way of showing how we love you. Boy, is this amazing. Sorry if you guys can he hear the background. Um, I used to live out in the country. I kind of miss it. We live in town. We're actually kind of lucky to have this fire pit in our backyard. So if you hear the cars and the trains and stuff in the background, just know we didn't mean that for that to be in the video. And we can't exactly crop it out with the device we have. So sorry about that. But also, there's the thing too. Anything you listen to, whether it's out in the country or out in the city or in the middle of nowhere, any natural sounds can be a beauty. This is this music isn't as soothing as I thought it was gonna be. It's more of a, just a put together playlist somebody else put together. The beginning sounded pretty good, but so I guess that is a little bit of copyright. But if we find out it is, we're probably going to put in the title and the song artist of it to put, get that little. Uh, so we're not claiming credit for that, you know? Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to change this music. It's not as soothing as I was hoping it would be. Uh, so, there's like a little bit of a music gap. I'm sorry for that. Give me a second. We'll be right back. Sorry for the crumpling paper. We're just restocking the fire a little bit. See, there we go. Nice, brilliant fire, everyone. Well, we might start telling some of our favorite memories here in a little bit. Some of our favorite memories that we've had around the campfire or just fire in general um, feel free to tell your story down in the comments below if you ever have any nice memories around a fire um, drop a comment
collaborate, talk to each other, be decent individuals. Woo! There we go. That looks beautiful. Yeah, we really don't need paper, but we decided just to bring a whole bunch of paper out as well. Just to make it look cool here and there. When it starts to start to look dull on the camera, we'll just put a piece of paper on there just to make it kind of... Woo! One of my fond memories of being around the campfire was... I was up in Coeur d'Alene and I was with my, my family and part of my extended family. So as we're sitting there, um, I believe it was my grandma's friend, his name is Dusty. He pulls out an old acoustic guitar and starts strumming it away and having a good time. And then he starts singing and then he starts getting everyone involved. And that was one of my favorite memories because that's when we all came together as one, and just had a fun time. One of my favorite memories, it was pretty damn fun, like, we had ran, we had ran out of firewood, and I was with my 20 year old cousin, my sister, my brother, uh, my stepsisters, and just some of the step family, and my mom, and we were, we were told, Whoever brought back the most firewood would get paid, all right? So I, what I do is I take this branch and it's pretty spread out and I just start stacking wood on it so I can drag it down the street. Well, that was a pretty good idea. I came in second place, but my 20 year old cousin found an old dead tree, you know, just like 400, 500 pounds. He throws that shit over his shoulder and he walks it almost like fucking uh almost half a mile back his he was complaining his back was hurting but he made a good 150 bucks because that's to this day that was a few years ago to this day that log is still there because nobody has found time to burn that shit that was amazing Alright, so what it smells like right now is like roasted chestnuts to me. Oh, and it, it smells like home and it smells like Christmas, and that's what I really like about it. Mine smells like, like freshly cut hay, maybe a little bit of cow manure. Like, you know, if any of you guys live on a farm, you know what that actually smells like. You know that once you get used to it, it's like you wake up in the morning, it's like, mmm, that's good shit right there. You wake up and it's like, that's a good smell. That, that's a fucking smell. I love that smell, man. Next time we do our our jam session, every once in a while, like for instance now, we'll have you like give a suggestion on a playlist, like a collaboration in one video, like a 40 minute long video of just chill music. Something we can just sit and chill, talk about life with, you know? We'll be checking it the music out before we do the video we didn't have a chance to do that this time because this was just kind of a idea we just barely came up with just sitting around the fire it's like hmm, why not make a video so we're like why not but you guys can put suggestions in and we'll pick out which ones we like the best and um, anyways everyone 
Thank you all for watching, and we appreciate all the love and support you have given us through all the time. Uh, I appreciate the number of people who subscribed to just watch my bitter nonsense, but still appreciate it anyways. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.